Just stopping to refuel with a smoked chorizo. Been walking for a couple of hours now up the river. Come across the two deer, the doe and her fawn. But that's it so far. Really just looking for a bit of a bit of antler today, see if I can find a mature buck. Had to get out of the house and warm my legs up. The raw's coming up in a few weeks, so really need to get the legs pumping because I just haven't been doing much hunting so yeah, this is the start of training well it's a pretty slow morning only those two deer seen and I just come through to the prime area where I was really hoping to run into a, a um, buck or two nothing the wind has really turned for the worst though just before I come into the prime area it just spun around and blown straight up the river now which is a bit of a pain I'm going to push up a few hundred metres further from here and um, now I'll probably just sit down and have a bit of a class and I'm onto the opposite face and have some lunch. The um, pressure's on if I shoot anything though because I got out of the ute this morning I realised that I left the bloody magazine at home for the rifles so I've got one up the spout and I've got to make it count. So yeah, I'm sure that'll play into my mind as I'm lining something up. Man, what a challenging day. Still just those two deer that I've seen. I've gone as far as I want to go. So now I've turned back. And, um, it's pretty bloody hot. back along the river with a bit of pace might bump into something
Whoa, holy shit. That happened so quick. I was just charging back here through the native. Just caught a glimpse of something over in the Manuka on the other side. There was a buck just sitting there, just looking over at me. It looked like he had a fit, like, decent antler. And I stopped and he, yeah, he was onto me. So I let out a mew and um, quickly bloody loaded the rifle. He was sitting just, just right over there. And um, yeah, he got up. He just started to take off, and um, and I took a shot. And um, I seen him just down over here. It looked like he was falling, and I haven't seen him go to the right, but he may have. I'm just going to give it five minutes, and um, and then I'll head over there, and hopefully, hopefully he's down. I hope by hell I haven't injured, or I know I've hit him. And I'm pretty sure I just seen him drop over there, but. See. Look like he had a nice skin on him too. Hunting, eh? Man. You just just never know. A second animal took off as well when I shot. It was just behind him. Which I didn't see till I took the shot, but Fuck. If I was stalking back along here I would have all the time in the world, but I was, I was just charging along. I come past here like 15 minutes ago through the same path. Looked over at that same clearing. Ah. Bloody hell. Anyway, I'm just going to sit here and rest for a bit, keep an eye on this bit of bush in case he does move. And then um, head over and hopefully check him out on the ground. Holy hecka. <laughs> well. Well. Shit. Sorry, buddy. Ah, oh, yes. So glad I found him. Like I said, I thought I'd seen him go down, but I oh, just had a shit feeling. It was quite a rush shot. Uh, I did, um, did, I did feel like I had it on him. Oh, I can't see the bullet hole, but um, feels like it. It's gone just in there, so a bit low, but um. He, he would have only run 15 metres or so. I definitely got him in the boiler room. He's, um, he's pretty cool. He's got a, got a bit of character to him. Oh, and he's, you see, he's still got a little bits of velvet on. He's just in the middle of stripping. His coronets are low. Still pretty stoked. I just set him up, got a few photos, and uh, that bullet hole started bleeding now. And um, wasn't low at all. It was 
But he bang on the money. Yeah, couldn't have been any better for a hurried shot, really. I think I'll take that skin out too. It's bloody nice skin. There's some good damage by the little 223. Straight through both lungs. He's in real good nick. Look at that. All that fat prime condition going into the rut. Uh, finally all sorted. It took a wee while, we so had to bone it all out. Sort the head and the skin. Put a few nicks in the skin, unfortunately, but never mind. I'm um, not very savvy with ageing, um, you know, ageing animals, but I think this guy's pretty bloody old. Have a look here, you know, his teeth are so worn down. Look at those. They are worn right down. Nice and mature, which is, um, which is what I was after. So it's neat. Being unfit is so brutal. I'm already starting to cramp up. I've probably got two hours to go. Oh. Bloody hell. I'll sit down and have a break in about a quarter of an hour. drenched. Getting cut up, bruised up, cramping up. Buggered. These are the hunting missions I, sh I want to be doing when I'm fit. don't want to be doing them to get fit. Holy hell. Slow and steady.